China was recently raving about the space program as a source of national pride. But the rest of the world's space programs seem to be set on diverting their programs away from national interests. Private space travel was the hottest topic, and is still considered the new big wave. A 21-year-old graduate from South China University of Technology caught on to that trend. His name is Hu Junyu. On July 29th of last year, his team launched a rocket with a payload of 50 kilograms in Inner Mongolia. This past January, his three-person company, called LinkSpace, was registered in Shenzhen. The other two men on staff included a Tsinghua University PhD candidate and a machinery manufacturing specialist. On August 5th, they had a successful trial of a liquid propellant and rocket engine in a courtyard in Wu's hometown in the Jiangsu province. Space travel is obviously extremely capital-intensive, which is why only states were the ones doing it before. But now the technology has improved and the costs have gone down. Who is just asking for 2.6 million U.S. dollars for 16% of the company to lure investors? That valuation would put Link Space at 16 million U.S. dollars. Who said he was already offered about 1 million U.S. dollars from several interested investors? Link Space is now developing a commercial rocket which can take measurements and perform scientific experiments during suborbital flight. The rocket will carry instruments to an altitude of up to 200 kilometers. On average, it costs about a half million dollars to launch such a commercial rocket. But Link Space intends to slash that price by a third. Who expects the current domestic rocket market value to grow to hundreds of millions soon? Of course, he's also very familiar with SpaceX, California's commercial space venture founded by Elon Musk, who expresses admiration for Elon Musk, but he's also affirmed that he would never copy SpaceX or anybody else. Luo Xu is the chairman of KCSA, a space enthusiast NGO. He said the timing is not right for China's SpaceX, since space needs a huge amount of technological and financial power. He warned the success of private rocket firms in the U.S. is by no means a fairy tale. But who is confident that although his team cannot catch up with the major state-supported players now, his efforts will pay off in the industry in the long run?